Sheffield Scientific School was founded in 1847 as a school of Yale College in New Haven, Connecticut for instruction in science and engineering. Originally named the Yale Scientific School, it was renamed in 1861 in honor of Joseph E. Sheffield, a railroad executive. The school was incorporated in 1871. The Sheffield Scientific School helped establish the model for the transition of U.S. higher education from a classical model to one which incorporated both the sciences and the liberal arts. Following World War I, however, its curriculum gradually became completely integrated with Yale College. The Chef ceased to function as a separate entity in 1956. Topic: History. After technological developments in the early 19th century such as the electric telegraph, an interest was fostered in teaching applied science at universities. Harvard established the Lawrence Scientific School in 1846 and Dartmouth began the Chandler Scientific School in 1852. The stage was set at Yale for the transition in education beginning in 1846, when professorships of agricultural chemistry John Pitkin Norton and practical chemistry Benjamin Silliman Jr. were established. In 1847, the School of Applied Chemistry became part of a newly created Department of Philosophy and the Arts later, the Yale Graduate School. Classes and labs were hosted in the Second President's House on Yale's old campus until funding and a suitable facility could be found. Norton died in 1852 and was replaced by John Addison Porter. Applied chemistry was followed in 1852 by a professorship of civil engineering William Augustus Norton, establishing a school of engineering. These programs made up the Yale Scientific School. In 1853 and 1854, science and engineering courses were listed in the Yale College course catalogue as offered by the Yale Scientific School. Porter elicited help from his father-in-law, Joseph Earl Sheffield, and in 1858, Sheffield donated over $100,000 to purchase the old medical department building for the scientific school. This gift included two newly renovated wings within the building. The old Yale Medical School building on the northeast corner of Grove and Prospect Streets was renovated and renamed South Sheffield Hall. It was demolished in 1931 and was on the current site of Sterling Tower, Sheffield Hall and Strathcona Hall SSS. Sheffield's building reinforced the division of Hillhouse Avenue into an upper, residential section, and a lower section devoted to education. Education. In 1861, the school became the Sheffield Scientific School in recognition of his generosity devoted to the promotion of the study of the natural, physical, and mathematical sciences. Sheffield was one of Yale's greatest benefactors and continued to support the school throughout his life giving a total of about $500,000. Yale also received $591,000 from his will as well as his house, the Sheffield Mansion, designed and originally owned by Ithiel Town, demolished in 1957. The school also benefited from the Morrill Act starting in 1863 and an agricultural course was begun. Land grant status, however, was transferred to the Storrs Agricultural School in 1893 after arguments by the State Grange that the school was not a proper farm school 
A series of lectures, later known as the Sheffield Lectures was instituted by the school in 1866. Professor Othniel Charles Marsh of the school led four Yale scientific expeditions in search of fossils in 1870–3. Topic. Education and student life The Sheffield School innovated with an undergraduate course offering science and mathematics as well as economics, English, geography, history, modern languages, philology and political science. Sheffield also pioneered graduate education in the United States, granting the first Ph.D. in America in 1861 as well as the first engineering Ph.D. in America to Josiah Willard Gibbs in 1863, and the first geology Ph.D. to William North Rice in 1867. Unlike Yale College students at the time, Sheffield students had no dorms, no required chapel, no disciplinary marks and no proctors. The Academical Department of Yale AC and Sheffield Chef became rivals. Loomis Havemeyer, alumnus and registrar at Sheffield, stated during the second half of the 19th century Yale College and Sheffield Scientific School, separated by only a few streets, were two separate countries on the same planet. The AC students studied liberal arts and would look down on the practical chef students. Sheffield had its own student secret societies aka final clubs or senior societies, some also known by their Greek letters including the Colony Club, 1848 now Berzelius, the Cloister, 1863 now Book and Snake, St. Anthony Hall, 1867 now a three-year society, also called Delta Psi, St. Elmo, 18 89, also a senior society, as well as Franklin Hall, 1865, Theta Xi, York Hall, 1877, Chi Phi, Sachem Hall, 1893, Phi Sigma Kappa, and Vernon Hall, 1908, now Myth and Sword. The Yale Scientific Magazine was founded at Sheffield in 1894, the first student magazine devoted to the sciences. Other buildings In 1872–73, Sheffield Scientific School's first new building, North Sheffield Hall was built, designed by Josiah Cleveland Cady, on what had been the gardens of the town Sheffield Mansion. This was followed by Winchester Hall 1892 and Sheffield Chemical 1894–5, J. Cleveland Cady. Of these, only the latter, Sheffield Chemical, is still standing, renovated and renamed Arthur K. Watson Hall. Beckton Laboratory, designed by Marcel Brewer, 1970, now stands on the site of North Sheffield and Winchester Halls, demolished in 1967. Further expansion brought Kirtland Hall 1902, Kirtland Cutter, Hammond Laboratory 1904, W. Jedney Beatty, Leet Oliver Hall 1908, Charles C. Haight, Mason Laboratory 1911, Charles C. Haight and Dunham Laboratory 1912, 
Henry Morse, edition 1958, Douglas Orr, all still standing except Hammond which was raised in 2009 to make way for two new residential colleges, the Vanderbilt Sheffield dormitories and towers were built by Charles C. Haight from 1903 to 1906, and Haight's chapter house St. Anthony Hall was built in 1913. Byers Hall, designed by Hiss and Weeks and built in 1903, served as a center for social and religious life. These buildings are now incorporated into Silliman College, and St. Anthony Hall still owns its building, which completes the college and Wall Street corner of the Silliman College quadrangle. In 2006–7, Silliman underwent a major renovation. Also, in 1913, land in East Lyme was purchased for a field engineering camp now the Yale Outdoor Education Center. Topic reorganization During the 1918–1919 reorganization of the educational structure of Yale University, the three years select course at Sheffield Scientific School was eliminated and a four-year course of study for those studying professional science and engineering was approved, while graduate courses were transferred to the graduate school, leaving only undergraduate courses taught at Sheffield Scientific School from 1919 to 1945, coexisting with Yale College's science programs. The centennial was celebrated in 1947 with the Silliman Lectures given by Ernest O. Lawrence, Linus Pauling, W. M. Stanley and George Wells Beadle. The first degree of Bachelor of Science was awarded in 1922 to the graduating class of the Sheffield Scientific School. In 1932, the School of Engineering was re-established and Sheffield Scientific School engineering classes were transferred to the new school. In 1945, the Sheffield Scientific School resumed its original function of graduate-level instruction in science. Undergraduate courses for the Bachelor of Science degree were transferred to Yale College, and undergraduate courses for a Bachelor of Science in Industrial Administration were transferred to the School of Engineering. This transition occurred gradually, through the influence of aggressive, powerful alumni including Edwin Oviatt, editor of the Yale Alumni Weekly who took control out of President Hadley's hands and forced a radical reorganization of Yale. In 1956, the Sheffield Scientific School was terminated as an active school. The Board of Trustees still exists to oversee the Sheffield Scientific School property and meet legal requirements. The school's faculty is defined as teachers of science to graduate students under the Division of Science. Engineering teaching and research is now conducted within the School of Engineering and Applied Science. Topic Directors George Jarvis Brush, Professor of Mineralogy, was director of the Sheffield Scientific School from 1872 to 1898. Russell Henry Chittenden, Professor of Physiological Chemistry, was director of the Sheffield Scientific School from 1898 to 1922. Charles Hyde Warren, Sterling Professor of Geology, was Dean of the Sheffield Scientific School from 1922 to 1945. Edmund Ware Sinnott, Sterling Professor of Botany, was Director of the Sheffield Scientific School from 1945 to 1956. Topic. Notable faculty 
Charles Emerson Beecher, paleontologist, member of the governing board. William Henry Brewer, botanist, first chair of agriculture, as well as a graduate from the first class of the school. Daniel Cady Eaton, botanist. Daniel Coit Gilman, geographer, helped plan and raise funds. Thomas Lounsbury, American literary historian, professor of English and librarian at Chef. Chester S. Lyman (1814–1890), industrial mechanics, inventor of surveying and astronomical instruments. Lafayette Mendel, biochemist. Mansfield Merriman (1848–1925), civil engineering, author of a treatise on hydraulics and on the strength of materials. 1877 John Pitkin Norton, chemist, faculty member of Yale's Department of Education in Applied Science, which gave rise to Sheffield Scientific School. William Augustus Norton, civil engineer, founding faculty member John Addison Porter, chemist Charles Brinkerhoff Richards, Engineer Chair of Mechanical Engineering from 1884 to 1909. Benjamin Silliman Jr. Chemist, Founding Faculty Member. William Petit Trowbridge, 1828 to 1892, Mechanical Engineering. Published the first cantilever bridge design, member, National Academy of Science Addison Emery Verrill, zoologist and geologist Francis Amasa Walker, economist, third president of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology William Dwight Whitney, organized and taught in the Department of Modern Languages, member of the Governing Board. Topic Notable alumni Clifford Whittingham Beers, mental health pioneer Jules Blackfine, class of 1921, physician and financier, founder, Physicians Hospital, New York, uncle of Lloyd Blackfine William Edward Boeing, aviator John Vernou Bouvier III, stockbroker and socialite, father of Jackie Kennedy, First Lady Chester Bowles, American politician J. Twing Brooks, U.S. Congressman Malcolm Green Chase 1875-1955, Class of 1896, American financier, textile industrialist, and tennis champion Henry Boardman Conover, ornithologist Bradford Brinton, engineer, collector of fine Western art, which eventually resulted in the primary collection of the Brinton Museum Arthur Lewis Day, geophysicist and volcanologist Charles Benjamin Dudley, Chemist Isadore Dyer, physician Lee de Forest, electronics inventor Francis I. DuPont, chemist Joseph W. Fraser, automobile magnate James Terry Gardiner, surveyor and engineer Josiah Willard Gibbs, mathematical physicist and physical chemist T. Keith Glennon, First NASA Administrator John Campbell Greenway, American Mining and Steel Executive, General, U.S. Army Harold L. Green, Chain Store Founder Harry Frank Guggenheim, Businessman, Philanthropist Daniel Webster Herring, Physicist John Hayes Hammond, Mining Engineer, Philanthropist, Faculty Member. He endowed a program at Chef in Mining and Metallurgy and accepted a professorship. He contributed $100,000 for the construction of Hammond Laboratory, which is named for him. John Hayes Hammond, Jr., inventor, father of radio control John Bell Hatcher, 
Paleontologist Robert J. Huber, Michigan politician, businessman Tony Holman, 1924, businessman, owner of Indianapolis Motor Speedway 1945 1977, Treat Baldwin Johnson, chemist Clarence King, American geologist and mountaineer Charles N. Lowry, American landscape architect Duane Lyman, architect Othniel Charles Marsh, paleontologist champion Mathewson, metallurgist Truman Handy Newberry, American businessman and politician Thomas Wharton Phillips, Jr., U.S. Congressman William North Rice, geologist and theologian Stanley Pickett Rockwell, 1907, metallurgist and co-inventor of the Rockwell Hardness Test William Thompson Sedgwick, bacteriologist and public health scientist George B. Selden, lawyer and inventor Sidney Irving Smith, zoologist James Graham Phelps Stokes, philanthropist, publicist, and political activist Zan Tianyu, Chinese railroad engineer, father of China's railroad Thomas Yaki, owner of the Boston Red Sox for 44 years. Topic. See also. Austin Cornelius Dunham, major early donor.